When we talk about the traditions instructed by Catholicism, the conversation of penance seems to be a reoccurring theme. One of the more simple, yet most vain attempts at this penance is found in the practice of no meat on Fridays. Let's turn to an official Catholic source and hear the reasons for this bizarre practice. Pastoral Statement on Penance and Abstinence A statement issued by the National Conference of Catholic Bishops, November 18, 1966, Section 18. Gratefully remembering this, Catholic peoples from time immemorial have set apart Friday for special penitential observance by which they gladly suffer with Christ that they may one day be glorified with him. This is the heart of the tradition of abstinence from meat on Friday where that tradition has been observed in the Holy Catholic Church. When we look to the Bible, especially in the New Testament, it is difficult not to see the warnings about what is Roman Catholicism. While there are many prophecies about this institution within scripture, we are going to be looking at a brief passage from Paul's first letter to Timothy that catches Romanism red-handed. 1 Timothy 4 verses 1 to 3 Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Traditions like priests not being allowed to get married, which we will expand upon in further segments, and the practice of no meat on Fridays is something that makes little to any sense, and are even called doctrines of devils. The warning here is that false teachers would come and take away what God made clean, and most if not all heretical groups always target these things. Let's end this segment with an excerpt from Paul's letter to the Colossians. Colossians 2 verses 16 to 18 Let no man therefore judge you in meat, or in drink, or in respect of unholy day, or of the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, which are a shadow of things to come, but the body is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshipping of angels intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind.